بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈینٹس ہاؤ آر یو ہوپ یو آل آر فائن اینڈ ہیپی دس از گریڈ تھری سبجیکٹ سائنس اینڈ آئی ایم یور سائنس ٹیچر مسز ہنا جاوید ڈیئر اسٹوڈینٹس آور یونٹ نمبر تھری از گوئنگ آن types of living things plants and we all know very well all plants can be put into one large group the plant group now students it is our reading time now we read the topic plants that are not green not all plants are green Some do not have chlorophyll. They cannot make their own food. They get food from green plants or from humus, which is the dead remains of plant and animals in the soil. Mushrooms are plants that are not green. They get food from the humus in the soil a mushroom has an umbrella like cap on the top you can see here these are mushrooms they are not green plants they have umbrella like cap on the top it has a stem which is called a stipe this is a stipe spores are made inside the cap and these plants grow spores inside their caps these are mosses plants they are also non green plants non green plants means they do not have chlorophyll chlorophyll is a green chemical by which plants can make their own food but non green plants do not have chlorophyll it means they do not they do not make their own food they cannot make their own food and they can get their food from humus uh, which is the dead remains of plants and animals in the soil so it means they can get their food from the soil like mushrooms and mosses they are not green plants they do not have chlorophyll they cannot make their own food they get their food from the soil now our topic is plants that have cones plants that have cones some trees have seeds but they do not have flowers and fruits these trees have cones they have two kinds of cones there are pollen cones which contain pollen and there are seed cones which make seeds it means some plants have seeds but they do not have flower and fruits these trees have cones their seeds are present in cones they have two kinds of cones there are two kinds of cones some contain pollen cones you can see here pollen cones like this some plants have pollen cones and there are seed cones which make seeds and some plants have seed cones they make seeds so it means plants have two types of cones pollen cones and seed cones wind takes the pollen from the pollen cone to the seed cone the pollen reaches the ovules of the seed cone the ovules grow into seeds when the seeds are ripe the seed cone opens up and the seeds fall out 
these seeds will grow into new trees of the same kind pine trees for example make cones a pine trees with cones you can see here longitudinal sections of a pine cone wind takes pollen from the pollen cone from the pollen cones wind takes pollen to the seed cone the pollen reaches the ovule of the seed cones the ovules grow into the seeds of seed cones when the seeds are ripen the seeds cone opens up and the seeds fall down fall out these seeds will grow into new trees of the same kind you can hear an example of pine trees they are made by pollen cones and seed cones here you can see longitudinal section of a pine cone now students we will do true false number a a flower has three parts is it right or wrong it is wrong because a flower has four parts number b spores are made inside the cap it is right because uh, you have example in your book mushroom have caps and they have spores inside their caps plants need air water and chlorophyll to make food it is also right a fern has spores it is true the lower part of the carpel is called ovary it is also right number mark here a flower has three parts it is false you can Uh, cross here or you will write here also false it is false spores are made inside the cap it is true plants need air water and chlorophyll to make food true a fern has spores true the lower part of the carpel is called ovary it is also true a flower has three parts it is false you can write here also f e l s e or you can also cross it spores are made inside the cap true t r u e you can also write here true plants need air water and chlorophyll to make food t r u e true also right here true a fern has spores true t r u e true you can also write here true the lower part of the carpel is called the ovary it is also right t r u e true you can also write here True. Now, students, we will do fill in the blanks to show how a flower makes seeds. First, I will read the paragraph. When a dash lands on the flower, the yellow powder called pollen sticks to its body. Its body means bee body. When a bee land on a flower the yellow powder called pollen is stick to its body when it flies to another flower the pollen is sticks to the sticky tips of the carpel here you will write carpel a dash grows a tube grows from the pollen it goes into an an ovule in the ovary the ovule grows into a seed the ovary grows big and makes the fruit now you we will write here 
Spelled uh, B. Here we will write B. B double E. The opponent is stick to the sticky tip of the carpet. Here we will write carpet. C A R P E L carpet. A tube. Here we will write here tube. A tube grows from the pollen. It goes into an into an ovule. O V U L E in the ovary. The ovule grows into a seeds. S double E D seed. The ovary grows big and makes fruit. F R U I T fruit. Now, students, put the tick on the correct column. Orange is soft and fleshy fruit or a dry fruit. We know very well orange is soft and fleshy fruit. You will click here. Plum is also soft and fleshy fruit. Groundnut is a dry fruit. You will write here. Tick here. Peanut is also dry fruit. You will mark here. Bean is also dry fruit. You will mark here. Tomato is soft and fleshy you will take here coconut is dry fruit you will take here apple is soft and flashy you will take here okay students take care allah hafiz